Exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the Air. Tule elk are a subspecies of the North American elk, or wapiti, native only to California. By the 1870s, there were fewer than 10 left. Starting in the late 1800s, there was a serious effort to conserve what was left of the tule elk po populations, and they were managed to preserve them and also split up into various smaller groups. Current numbers are somewhere around 3,000, and they're spread uh, among 22 populations in California. The National Park Service manages one of those populations, and California Department of Fish and Game manages the others. Tule elk were known to be near the numbers of 500,000 back in the mid-1800s. There was an account of a settler that came into the San Joaquin Valley over a mountain range and said that one herd of tule elk was approximately 2,000 individuals is what he counted. Male elk, which are also called bulls, grow large, large antlers, which are shed annually. A male bull elk will have a group of females, which is actually called a harem. Tule elk are interesting because they spend most of their day moving very slowly and doing very little. They spend a lot of time ruminating. They are ruminants, so they chew their cud like domestic cows. But when they need to, they can put on these incredible bursts of speed, and they are tremendously powerful. We like to monitor what the population is doing, whether it's increasing, decreasing. 056 whether we're seeing an aging population, a young population. We like to look for future problems. Yeah, she is really thin, huh? Yeah. I think it's a symbol of wildness, and people are so shocked that they can see what California probably looked like 200 years ago.